Hi everyone, I'm Colby. And I'm Shabam. Colby, you have made a pretty bold claim today. Well, I have. Today, we want to show you how to build a production grade financial analyst agent. It's powered by Gemini using Vertex AI Studio. And you said we could go from zero to a working prototype in less than 10 minutes. Putting my developer hat on, I'm skeptical. Production grade in 10 minutes don't usually go in the same sentence. Well, that's a challenge. We know that for a lot of developers, getting started with AI sounds like a day of setup, fighting with dependencies and trying to get a budget for this major project. Exactly. When I talk to developers, their experience is first they have to beg for a new cloud project, then they have to configure IAM roles, then they might not be ready yet. Sometimes they just want a quick hello world. It also takes some time to get everything right with AI. By that, I mean building the right prompts, finding the right models, and pulling everything together inside their app or an agent. Well, we've been working hard to try to remove some of this friction. So today, we're gonna prove it. Here's the goal. We're gonna build an app that can take a long, complex quarterly earnings report as a PDF, we'll extract the useful details and turn it into a detailed diagram. Which is the perfect developer use case. I want to build a financial analyst agent, so it needs to read the PDF, extract key financial data, like revenue, cost of goods sold, operating expenses, and then structure the data as clean JSON. Well, and that JSON output is critical because you need to be able to plug it in directly into a visualization library like D3 and create a Sankey diagram showing the flow of money. Right, no manual copy pasting. So let's get the clock started. How does a developer get started? So this is the best part. You just have to go to the Vertex AI Studio page and notice I'm not logged into a Google Cloud account. There's no project selected, no billing info entered. Any developer can come here and get started for free with Vertex AI Studio. Wait, really? So a developer can start prototyping right now without asking their manager or a credit card? Well, that's the whole idea. Just click Get Started. Now, once inside, you'll see you have a lot of flexibility. If you just want to understand what the models can do, you can just start with one of these sample prompts. For example, I could quickly try one for image generation, and this is with our nano banana model. And we'll see this sample, and this takes us right into image editing. Okay, that's a classic demo. But let's get to the real problem, the financial analyst agent. All right, let's do it. I'm starting a new prompt. First, I'll upload our sample earnings report PDF. Great, now this is the part I know developers aren't looking forward to, the prompt engineering guessing game. Let's try a simple first pass prompt. Just type what a developer would naturally ask for. So let's try, extract the revenue, cost of goods sold, and the operating expenses from the uploaded PDF and list them. Seems clear enough. Let's run it and see what happens. And here's our output. Okay, so the information is in there, but it's not parsable. Well, this is a classic trial and error loop, right? And what would they typically do next? Maybe the developer would go and get a coffee and then come back and try to rephrase the prompt. Maybe add, give me the output as a list, respond with bullet points, or I need this in JSON. And they would keep trying and maybe rerunning it for half an hour or an hour. Well, you're exactly right. I mean, this is where most developers get stuck and it's the part that we've been trying to really get right. You shouldn't have to guess. Vertex AI Studio can now help you optimize this prompt. What's that, a slash command? Exactly. We've integrated an AI agent right into the studio to help you build and refine your prompts. So instead of guessing, you just tell the agent what you want. So I'll type the slash prompt and ask it, help me refine this prompt to get a clean JSON output and with keys for revenue, COGS or cost of goods sold and OPEX. Whoa. Okay, that's a much more detailed prompt than what was first written. It's giving it a persona, explicit instructions, and ah, this is the key. It's providing an example of the exact JSON structure. The agent knows how to write effective prompts, and I'm just going to accept this suggestion. Now let's run this new optimized prompt against the same PDF. And this is the moment of truth. Yes, that's what I was talking about. Look at that, it's a perfect JSON, the keys are right, 
the values are integers, a developer can just do json.load and load this directly in their application. We went from a bad prompt to a perfect prompt in a single step, just by asking the helper agent. This is a great value add for developers. They are not guessing anymore. They are collaborating with an AI to build a prompt. I can go into the evaluate panel and tell the auditor exactly how I want the model to respond. I can set up a rubric. For example, I'll add a rule that the output must be valid JSON and another that it must contain the revenue key. Now when I run my evaluations, it will rate the response for us automatically. Okay, this is great. So if I'm a developer, I have my perfect JSON, it's validated, it's giving me the exact output I need for my diagram. I'm ready to build this into an actual app. What's the fastest way to go from this to production? It's a two-click process, really. First, you need to authenticate. Right here from the studio, you can just click Get API Key. That's it. No need to go into GCP console or uh, configure OAuth or service accounts. Well, for express mode, this gets you a key to start building immediately. For a full production GCP environment, you tie this to a service account, which we'll look into in a bit. But the goal here is speed. You're ready to code in seconds. So you have your key. The second click is just to get code. Ah, this is what I was hoping for. You copy and paste this right into your VS code add your API key, and you're ready to go. If you want to see how your work interacts with other elements of an application, I can just use this build command, and it will reference my prompt within the context of an application. OK, this is perfect for the diagram app. But I'm already thinking what developers would ask next. The real app needs to be more complex. What if they need to fetch livestock data from a public API, then combine that data with the PDF? and then generate the final analysis. This one-shot prompt can't do that, right? That's a perfect question. For that, a simple prompt isn't enough. You need an agent. In that case, you'd use our agent builder. And the best part is, all the work we just did, it's reusable. How so? An agent is just a system that can chain multiple steps together. It can use tools, and a tool can be a Google search, a database lookup, or your own custom API like one for a stock ticker. For example, here's a more sophisticated agent that I built earlier. It's configured with a tool for a stock ticker API. Its other tool is the prompt we just built. That's how developer can build real application. They start simple with the prompt in express mode, and that work scales directly up into a sophisticated multi-tool agent. Okay, this is all great, but I'm still in express mode, and as a PM, I know developers work in teams. Their team can't see their work, and their boss is definitely going to ask, what about security, version control, governance? What happens when they are ready to move this to a real shared project? For a shared project, that's the final step, and that's when you move from express mode to a full GCP account. Now I'm logged into our team's Google Cloud project. When you're in express mode, you can save your work, and it will be right here when you log in to your full account. And now we just have new enterprise-grade features like for collaboration. Ah, uh, so version history. Right, and I can see the V1 prompt, and I can see our new V2. I can test new ideas, and if I break something, I can revert back with uh, just a click. This is great. Tech leads will really love this. OK, one last question. What about their PM, someone like you or me, or someone in marketing who doesn't have access to GCP account? They just want to see their progress without getting IAM permission. I can share via the link here. This provides a read-only view of the prompt, the model settings, and a sample output. That will save the developer teams from taking so many screenshots. So let's recap. We showed how a developer can start with nothing, no account, no credit card, and use express mode to get instant access. We tried a prompt. It wasn't working the way we wanted it to. And so we used the built-in AI agent to optimize it in one shot. We got perfect JSON and then the one-click API and the copy-paste code to put it in the app. Then we saw how the prompt scales up to become a tool in a sophisticated multi-step agent. And finally, how it moves into a full GCP project for team collaboration, version control, and governance. From an idea to production grade, secure and collaborative AI agent. I have to admit, I'm genuinely impressed. This is going to be really exciting for developers. 
That's what we love to hear. And if you wanna try it yourself, you can get started with Vertex AI Studio at the link in the description. Thanks for watching.